Scott Hamilton is a survivor. On the ice, he's won 16 championships. Oh yeah, also that gold medal. His biggest opponent though, cancer. Changed his life completely. It's what brings him to Portland tonight. Right now, he's actually speaking across the street for Adventist Health Foundation's Heroes of the Heart Gala. I talked to him earlier today about adjusting to life's curveballs, including NBC's recent decision to take him out of the commentary booth. How often do you think about your gold medal win in 1984? You know, that medal lived in my sock drawer <laughs> for about six years before I finally gave it away. Why there? You were hiding it away? No, I just didn't. What do you do with it? I mean, if you, you want to make it like a monument to, it's a moment, and it's, it's a moment that opens the door about that much to the next thing. I didn't realize how many times the medical boogeyman has knocked on your door. I mean, you have been visited far too many times in your life. Yeah, I call it my unique hobby of collecting life-threatening illness, you know, but hey, um, it's a part of the, you know, kind of the tapestry of, you know, what's made everything happen, you know, without, without um, my childhood illness, I never would have gotten into skating. You were sick at a very young age. Very young age. I stopped growing when I was about four and a half years old, um, and uh, they couldn't, it was never diagnosed until 2004, um, which is kind of ironic. Um, you know, I, I I got through my childhood and started skating and my health started to improve and then um, uh, year 11 into my, or year 13 actually into my professional career I had testicular cancer. Came back from that, went back on the road um, for a few years. I get happy, happy. I mean, that's me and I'm happy. Got married, had a child and then uh, I was diagnosed with a pituitary brain tumor which I was born with. That was the childhood illness that for whatever reason, when I started skating, it just stopped doing its mischief. So, um, got through that treatment, and then um, five years later, it came back. And it's all good. I'm still here, and uh, hopefully, I'll, you know, I'll make it through um, this next year. Um, I'm dedicated to um, health and um, extending lives and keeping families together. Having lost my mother to cancer, it was uh, one of those life moments that change everything. You said that she was the closest person to you in your whole life. She was the center of my universe and um, I was adopted at six weeks of age and she was it. I mean she, she was everything to me and when she died I had to make a, a very significant choice of how I was going to handle it, how I was going to mourn her and so um, she's sitting right here next to me. Um, she comes, I, I bring her spirit and her joy and, and I try to bring that into everything I do. I see you as a survivor on multiple fronts. Obviously you've survived multiple illnesses. You've survived your, your, your mother leaving you. You've survived going back to the hospital so many times. You've also survived this career. <laughs> In different ways. You know, it's funny, it's surviving a, a career, it, it evolves. You know, you can look at, you know, a lot of things. It's like, my relationship with NBC now is different. Mm -hmm. They've decided to um, use a different commentary team, and, and which is exciting because it's fresh and it's new. And Johnny Weir. Johnny Weir and Tara Lipinski mm -hmm. and Terry Gannon, who's, you know, I just, Terry Gannon, I'm, I'm his biggest fan. Are you disappointed by that change? I mourned it for about four days. You know, because I did seven Olympics, I've been doing commentary since 1981, and I thought, you know, no problem. it's hard to see things end, but at, after about four days, I go, I go, wait a minute, I get to do all this now. And the, the new opportunities that exist are so exciting and so new and so fresh that for me it's, it's a, it's a do-over. A lot of the greatest skaters I've ever seen in my life are now rotting on the vine because they have nowhere to go and they're afraid to, to set sail into a professional life and to build their careers in a new and different way. And in that way, do you think that Johnny Weir is doing something right? He has created a brand for himself. Well, it, and it's really kind of cool what Johnny's done in a way that it's kind of very social media, it's very hip, very trendy, very now, very cool. And it's not all relying on skating. No, it's, it's, it's fashion and it's, you know, it's a lot, of, a lot of things. And, you know, Johnny's a really smart guy. I mean, he really gets, he had that opportunity in Sochi and he leveraged it into something spectacular and he's building a brand. Have you heard of this campaign that is to bring awareness to testicular cancer called Feeling Nuts? <laughs> you know, Hugh Jackman did it. Yeah. Did you see that, the picture of Hugh Jackman with his friends in a gym yeah. feeling nuts? <laughs> Scott Hamilton, are you going to do it? <laughs> I will do it with you right now. Well, no, no, no. 
you know, the, the I'm challenging you to do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A little awkward. Um, <laughs> no, you know, it's like the, 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 the one great thing about testicular cancer is, to my knowledge, you can only get it twice. <laughs> yeah. So that's a no, you're not going to do the feeling that's... You know, I'm kind of, you know, I, I'm very good about doing that, you know, privately. Okay. <laughs> well, Scott, we are glad that you're here, surviving so much, and oh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you oh, for coming to Portland. Thank you. Scott really was so much fun to talk to, and what a life he has led. We wish him good health, of course, in the future, and also want to thank Adventus for uh, arranging that interview and bringing him here to Portland for their charity event. 